So we're here to talk a little bit about how Tai Chi can help with recovery and with injury and how you might be inspired to do something a little bit different as you prepare for some of the challenges that you might have ahead on your road. So Doug Waynes is going to talk about his knee surgeries as he's had both of his knees replaced in this last year and he is a Tai Chi instructor um, and has used Tai Chi in various forms but he had to learn some different aspects so that he could go forward with the way that the surgery was going to go in his recovery. So where would you like to start? Well first uh, I was very fortunate to find out that I was going to be getting uh, surgery on my knee when I had arthritis for several years and it turned out that uh, I uh, took up the practice of the sitting form or seated form of Tai Chi for uh, health recovery. The moves in there work on the legs phenomenally and I did take the uh, trouble to go to the physiotherapy groups that they required us to attend and I did do their th therapy as well but I found that I really got a lot of extra work by doing the Tai Chi seated form, leg exercises, and then later on I did the uh, body uh, uh, foundation exercises and did the seated form uh, of Tai Chi 108 moves as well. And it really put a lot of work into my legs that I did not expect would produce results. <laughs> uh, I, had no, I had no idea what would happen. I just knew I wanted to be in shape for that operation. So. The first knee, which was my left knee, was done in January, and uh, that's 2019. And so eight months ago. Eight months ago, yes. And I went in and took uh, about two months of seated form Tai Chi, worked hard. And that was ahead of surgery. Before surgery, yeah. The before surgery will come up a little later as well. But after surgery, I could move my foot a little bit the first week. Uh, I then continued on doing uh, the Tai Chi seated form exercises as much as I could from within about three days of surgery right through until uh, my second surgery which was four months later in late April. But the key point here is that I started on the, sur the surgery recovery with the intent that I would work hard and uh, persevere. As a result, when I went into the uh, physiotherapy, which they start you on two weeks after surgery, uh, I was very quickly kicked out of the class because I'd achieved what they normally would expect inside of uh, 12, 14 sessions, and I finished off at about seven or eight sessions. So about half the amount of uh, physiotherapy, which was really good, the doctor was impressed. He liked it a lot and when he did his eight-week surgery recovery uh, examination. He said, well, we better schedule that second one because it looks like you're ready to go. So the second one was uh, looming uh, in about uh, two months. So I kept up all of the seated form exercises which worked on the legs. And there's videos on, on all the work that uh, Yvonne and Michelle have demonstrated on how the legs work and what you do with them. But the real benefit for me was that when I went into the second surgery, my right leg, I was very strong. When I woke up after surgery, I said to the doctor, I said, what did you do? I can move my foot forward and back and from side to side, which I couldn't do with the first one hardly at all. And he said, no, we did the same things. So I believe firmly that the Tai Chi and the exercises I did from the seating form, which are working through the legs to improve the body, uh, did tremendous amount of change. So I carried on for another uh, almost three months of regular in-home, twice, three times a day, foundation exercises, foot exercises, and whenever I had a chance, I would also augment that. Uh, I had the ability to have an, a small home laser uh, kit, which I used two, three times a day. I also used uh, a rather ancient form of um, uh, a singing bowl 
to give sound vibrations into the knee as well in both cases. So my recovery time was probably 60 to 80 percent faster than most people and the doctor on the second one in particular was just delighted at the end of the eight weeks. His comment was that turned out to be a spectacular success. The um, surgery uh, uh, x-rays showed uh, everything was just normal but my leg had most of the swelling had gone uh, there was no hesitation. I was teaching Tai Chi within two weeks of the second surgery. Uh, I could not do some moves completely. I could only do them in a very high and, and careful manner. But within four weeks, I was able to do most turns and most uh, demonstrations that I needed without any hesitation as completely as I needed for a class. The other thing that was rather fascinating was that there are some moves in the uh, saber set where you do a spiral turn down and you basically uh, have a lot of pressure on your leg. And I did that within four weeks. And it just felt like my leg was brand new. It was just amazing. Uh, I can only suggest for people that are thinking about hip or knee replacement, and I can't speak about anything else, but certainly for hip and knee, if you have a chance to put in that extra two months in advance, three months in advance, of your surgery and you work the exercises that Michelle and uh, Yvonne are showing, you can develop a very solid uh, leg muscle structure that will allow it to heal much quicker and your recovery will just be sp just so different from your contemporaries who took surgery around the same time. And myself, I found people were as much as four and eight weeks after were nowhere near where I was. Uh, for example, one of the things you need to be able to do with this before you get released is you have to be able to have a pretty good deflection in the leg. Now that's four months and it's pretty much as far as uh, I would expect it'll ever go, but that's the, that's the leg. After two or three months, a lot of people can't get much past straight, vertical and 90 degrees. I was at 100 and 25 degrees of deflection within uh, two weeks on my second leg and that was just stunned the physiotherapist they could not believe it the the um, straightening of the leg is another one of the tests that you have to achieve in the uh, physiotherapy and before you're released from the doctor's care uh, you basically want to have your your leg flat if you're laying on a bench, the leg is flat and there's no space underneath your knee. And not because it's swollen, but because it's, it's able to go straight. Um, within two weeks, my leg was virtually straight on the, on the space. So from my perspective, uh, all of the work that went in, in front led to being able to have good flexibility both directions and virtually the pain in the second knee operation was probably about half what it was in the first uh, for the first couple of weeks and it stayed at a very low level and is continuing to be at a very very low level uh, many people are a year or two years before they actually get away from having pain in their leg I have virtually none now and navigating stairs? Stairs were a challenge, of course, the first little bit, as are hills, up and down. But uh, I navigate stairs now just like anyone else. Um, I can put weight on both legs going up and down the stairs. I don't need a handrail. Um, they're nice to have. If they're there, I'm certainly going to be using them, particularly if the stairs are narrow and there's a chance of maybe slipping off. But uh, I don't see any immediate concerns at all with climbing stairs, uh, walking on hills. Uh, in fact, uh, we were in Cape Breton here and Yvonne and I went for a walk along the beach so we scrambled over some rocks to climb up off the beach, went up over the breakwater to get to the road again. 
just no problem at all to do it. And uh, I feel very s sincerely that the effort of putting yourself out before the surgery, doing the leg exercises that are available to you through Tai Chi, and following the physiotherapists as well. The doctors will do their job, the hospital do its part, but really the recovery is your job. And I think the job you can do is best done if you're physically prepared before surgery and then continue the physical work in the legs, extensive work in the legs uh, after that. Beautiful. Okay, so shall we go do some snakes and uh you don't use and Even toyus? snakes and donyas and toyus are within my grasp now, <laughs> which they were not. I got to tell you this: they were not the last year and a half of teaching. I could not do a snake. I could not balance on one leg, and now I can do all those things. Beautiful. Yeah. So if you haven't looked at Tai Chi as an opportunity for you to prepare for some surgery or uh, to recover from injury please take the time to find someone near you because it can make a difference.